Welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson. And one of the easiest corals to frag in this hobby are leather corals. Any sharp blade and you can grab a piece and you can slice it up. They're so easy to frag, but they are infuriating to mount to the frag plug. But this year at Reefstock, I ran across Reef Stew's Frag Grippers. Let's find out if these are as good as I hope they are. So to begin with, let's identify the problem. Normally when you frag a leather, you've got to attach it to some sort of substrate like a frag plug. And I feel like over the years, I've tried every possible way. I've tried the rubber band method, I've tried the toothpick method, I've tried the rubble in the basket, and all work to varying degrees. But a lot of times it seems like the coral either never attaches or dies or gets covered in algae. Something goes horribly wrong with one of the methods. In fact, I had a super green biota cinularia, which I lost because it never attached and blew away and who knows where it went. So could these little frag grippers fix that problem? Let's take a look at them. I've gone ahead and opened the bag. We get 10 frag plugs, 10 of the frag grippers, and this little eyedropper. So the way these work is the frag plug goes on the frag gripper once we've attached the coral. They just kind of fit together. Looks pretty easy, pretty smooth. They don't fit real tight, but it does seem to make a difference between which one you use, but I'm not actually worried about it. I don't think they're gonna come apart. We'll have to see how that goes. I did get one broken frag plug in the bag. Doesn't seem like that big of a deal as it actually fits pretty darn tight inside of here. So I think we're gonna be okay with that. Then we got the eyedropper, which we're gonna have to mod. We're gonna do that in a minute. And then, the frag gripper bag is pretty nice because it's resealable. So we can actually reseal it, keep everything together that we don't use. So very much appreciated. So let's try and mod the dropper. This dropper is how we're gonna pull the coral through the gripper. Now I haven't actually done this, so we're playing with a new product. But first, according to the Reef Stew video I watched on their website, which is actually really good, we're gonna make a couple little mods. We're gonna cut the end of this off. This is where our coral's gonna go. And then we're gonna split this down the center. Um, if you're not used to razor blades or you're scared, use cut resistant gloves. Splitting this should just allow it to kind of spin like that to help hold the coral and go through the gripper. So now we should be able to put the coral in here and pull it through like that. And then it should grip. I got ahead and cut about seven frags. We've got a little Xenia here. We got a piece of green Cinularia. There's a little tiny piece of that super green cabbage. Uh, we got a couple of toadstools. This one is your standard toadstool, but it's not attached to anything. These are always hard to attach. We've got just slicing. This is that long tentacle stuff I have. This is a piece of devil's hand, I believe. And piece of that really green stuff that I have that doesn't drop. So that's that huge colony I have, little frag of it. So let's play. To begin with, let's do this Cinularia. This should be the simplest, easiest. It should work exactly like the video showed. So we should be able to pull this down through. No, not that time. I have a feeling there's gonna be a bit of a learning curve to this. Bear with me. Okay. Ah. Let's do... Hmm. So 
So it's taken me a minute to figure out how I like to do it best. So far, I am not loving the dropper tool. It seems to be kind of hard on the coral, hard to do. But I find if I just take my thumb, pull one of these to the side, I can pull the coral through right to where the base is gonna touch the frag plug, push the plug up to it, and we got contact with the coral and the plug. This is looking really good. So far, that is kind of exactly what I want. Let's try the little guy. So, thumb over, nice and simple. Right, straight, hmm. The little thin one's a little harder, I'm finding. There we go, we'll just push it to the side. This gripper is actually pretty darn cool in the way it's working, but it does take a little finesse to get used to. This guy might actually grow more to the gripper than the plug. There, that's the ticket right there. There, look at that. So here's the frags immediately after fragging. It took me a minute to figure out how to do it, but now I actually really like these so far. Everything seems pretty well attached except for the Xenia right up front. When I pulled it through, it was nice and tight, but Xenia loses so much water when you stress it and becomes so thin that it kind of lost its grip. But I've got it kind of pushed in there. I think it's gonna do okay. So we'll give it some time and we'll see how things attach. Of the original seven frags, I've got five left. Let's start with the two that didn't make it. One was that green cauliflower coral. And when I cut it, I cut a little tiny piece off. It was attached to the rock and I mangled it. So I'm blaming that on myself. The next one was one of those self-fragging toadstool leathers. And well, it self-fragged. So it blew off and who knows where it's at in this tank. I ended up trying three different simularias to get one to attach. The first one I kind of smashed up in that tube trying to teach myself how to use the frag grippers. So I'm blaming that on myself. The second one, it seemed like the gripper itself was too tight and the simularia didn't like it. So it shriveled and died. The third one, I cut a little bigger piece so that there was a bit of a branch and I put the branch between the arms of the frag gripper. And this time it took care of all of those pressure problems and it's working brilliantly. This coral is thriving in here. The other four were basically perfect. So this is a piece of that big green toadstool that's in my main display. It cut and it went in and it attached and it was perfect. Same with the devil's hand. Cut, went in, and perfect. We've got a piece of this long tentacle Fiji leather. And same deal, I cut it and it went in, it attached, and it's perfect. And then the Xenia, the Xenia, when I first put it in, it was kind of floppy. Well, it's done amazingly here. I think there's about three call or three heads of it now, which is fantastic. So, of the seven, five attached and of the five only one was troublesome so i'm really happy with the way these worked out and now i think it's time to attach these to the rock work and here we are a few days later all of the corals are attached to the rock work and doing really well the simularia is the only coral that actually attached to the frag plug. And that makes sense because it's underneath those fins. The rest are actually attached to the fins, which is pretty cool because I think I can actually just cut the fins, glue those directly to the rock work, and then I don't have the big frag gripper in the tank, which is pretty cool. All in all, it's doing really well. I will have to move this toadstool. It's in too shady of a location. I'm actually really happy with these frag grippers. They did a great job. They're not perfect. I'd kind of give them 
a seven, eight out of 10. The plastic can be a little tight against the leather coral. And I ran into that problem on the Sinularia, but I figured out how to make it work. I mean, they come apart, we've got a flat area in here and it worked. The two that I couldn't get to attach made sense as well. One was one of those self-fragging toadstool leathers and that's kind of what they do. When they get stressed, they self-frag. So that's what mine did. And then the cabbage coral was a little tiny piece that I mangled when I cut it out of here. It didn't actually die, it just disappeared on me. So that made sense as well. That was really more my fault than anything. I didn't give it a fair chance. So I'm really happy with these and I will definitely be buying more. This isn't a sponsored video or anything. This was just a problem I was personally trying to solve. So if you're interested in your own frag grippers, go to reefstew.com or you can also get them on VCA's website, which is vividcreativeaquatics.com. I'm loving these. I think they're about a buck a piece, but they've got a ton of options. I think you can buy them wholesale. You can buy them retail. You can buy them a bunch of different ways. So thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers and in the comments column, let me know. What do you think of these?